This video has been inspired by a recent video by Cloud42. Uh, but let's take things a little bit further with some stainless as well. Okay, Z-axis is locked. We'll go in at 780 RPM. Uh, it's about 0.9 inch diameter mild steel and feeding at 1.5 thou per revolution. I'm using some tap magic, but perhaps not as much as I should. Uh, getting some smoke, but the chips are forming very nicely. The blade seems to be cutting fine, and the chips are curling off very nicely too. And it's ready to pop. There we go. This is the socket side, uh, and the opposite is where the blade parted it off. Did a nice, reasonable, smooth job. And this is the end of the stock. Looks pretty good. This is the blade that I've been using. It's a Shars blade and blade holder. It's two millimeters in thickness. Okay, the next item is 1144 or stress proof steel going in at 780 RPM and one and a half thou per revolution. A little bit more tap magic this time. It really chips very nicely. This is a one inch diameter bar. Doing very well. The tap magic mostly seems to be going right into the cut. I'm continuing with the same power feed all the way through. And here we go. Okay, now for the fun part, 304 stainless. It is 0 0.88 inch in diameter, and this should give us about 180 surface feet. Going in again at 780 RPM and one and a half thou per revolution. We're getting a nice long chip now. Okay, starting to break. Smoking, plenty of tap magic. Okay, now I'm going to slow down the feed rate. Um, I'm going to take it off the power feed and start feeding in by hand. Uh, and you can see the chips have actually become worse. Um, I guess I'm not as brave as a power feed was. It's uh, really much smaller, finer pieces and 304 does not like that. The parted surface on the stock looks nice and smooth. You can tell exactly where I stopped power feeding and switched over to hand feeding. It is right there. And the surface is also a lot smoother with the power feed than with the hand feed. And next we look at the color of the chip that came off, the long stringy one. And you can tell where it starts to get hotter and hotter. Uh, you know, it's golden when we start and as we progress along it gets hotter and hotter. Next we look at the thickness of the chip. Uh, it's very hard to measure it because it's curled and it's also cupped. It's coming out at about seven, seven and a half thou. It may be worth using that number as a reference, if nothing else. Okay, time to continue the experiment with the same stainless round bar. We are going to go ahead and increase to 3 thou per revolution. Still power feed, uh, 180 surface feet. And let's see how this works out. Dripping in tap magic. Okay, let's examine the chip once again. And at the beginning, as you could probably see, it was nice and golden, then it becomes more colored with heat. And then right at the end, it starts to become golden and less colored once again. And that goes along with the surface speed slowing down as you get closer to the center. 
So the surface speed was high right at the beginning, uh, but there was a lot of mass and a lot of heat had not accumulated. Uh, but as you go along, it gets hotter and hotter, and then as you come right to the end, the surface speed slows way down. Uh, for what it's worth, the chip is still measuring around uh, seven and a half thou. All right, let's crank it up. Six thou per revolution, power feed, and beautiful colorless chip coming off, becoming more colored, dripping in plenty of tap magic, lots of smoke, little chips falling off, and there we are. So it started off much paler, and even when it got hotter, it's not the entire th uh, width of the chip that is discolored, but only the edges. Um, and then it gets paler once again. And this may be our limit. Uh, the next step would be to increase the feed to try 12 to 13 thou per revolution and see what happens. Do a touch off and then feed. Whew, it's going scary fast. Lots of smoke, but no hang up. Ooh, that felt like it was almost instantaneous. Things are a bit smoky, but uh, let's see what the chip looks like. All right, so here's the chip, and this guy's reading out at about 20 thou. Again, I don't know exactly how to interpret that. Uh, interestingly, the coil also changed. You can see it was tight and then became much looser and then it became tight once again. But the color stayed pretty light and right at the end the color is almost the same as base stainless steel, almost no heat effect. The surface on the stock side is very smooth. There's a small step you can see there and you can see the same step on the parted disc as well as well as a little bit of a ragged edge right at the beginning of the cut and a small pip in the center. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and look at all these chips in some more detail uh, from lowest to highest. This is the first, second, third and fourth chip. We start with a slower feed rate and increasing as we go up. And you, and you can clearly see the change in color and with the faster feed rate apparently carrying away more heat and uh, preventing the chips from getting overheated. And this is the parted surface, uh, this is the outer surface, and this is the inner surface of the first piece. And then the second piece, the third, and the fourth. And from the first to the third, you can clearly see the reduction in heat induced changes on the parted surface. By the third one, there's barely any heat related change seen. In the first two, there was still a central hole. As you can see, it's getting smaller. The last two did not have a central hole, and so you can just about make out a pip in the third and in the fourth one. And the last one is the only one that is a little bit um, difficult to know what to make of it. You can clearly see that the uh, beginning of the cut looks quite ragged and in addition there's a step in the middle and I must admit that for each of the stainless parting I forgot to lock the carriage uh, so that may have had some effect at the 12th hour uh, per revolution uh, feet. Here's a view of the uh, stock surface and this is the 1144 uh, it cuts beautifully, it parts beautifully and is just a pleasure to work with. This is the parted surface well, I hope you enjoyed the video, so please be sure to like and perhaps leave a comment or a couple of words of wisdom. Thank you very much.